Hey everybody, I'm John Rourke, Editor-in-Chief of Phoenix Home and Garden Magazine, and we are here in Scottsdale for the opening of the 18th Annual Arizona Fine Art Expo. There are almost uh, 90 artists represented, thousands of artworks to see and buy, and uh, we want to introduce you to one of those artists right now. This is Michael M. Moore. Monty, Monty, Monty so M. Moore, yeah, that's okay. M. Moore. Um, how many years have you been doing the expo? Uh, this is my fifth year. Okay. Yep. Uh, All right. But I've been a professional artist for almost 30 uh, as both an illustrator and a fine artist. And you're, it, we were just talking a little bit about the breadth of your work, and you're really kind of a Renaissance man. You do mm -hmm. everything from pencil sketches. Uh, up through, you do uh, oils, you do sculpture, What mm -hmm. you do almost everything, Yeah, right? most major media, including uh, sculpture. Uh, one of the mentors that I studied with said you should be a well-versed artist, like a Renaissance man. <laughs> and I also do writing, so I publish four graphic novels a year that I also uh, write and produce. And screenwriting and filming as yes, well, I've, right? Yes, uh, so. I've written feature films and I've sold screenplays and such, so I try to be really the, a, a full breadth of a, a uh, unique artist. That's fantastic. Now you grew up on a farm in Idaho, is that correct? Well, it was a ranch, 30,000 30, acres. Okay. Uh, we ran uh, <laughs> cattle and we actually had buffalo, bison, if you will, on the ranch. Okay. Uh, my parents are since retired, but my oldest brother still has about 150 to 250 head uh, of bison. And so my family continues uh, ranching and farming traditions of four generations. And my own uh, contribution since I really didn't want to become a rancher is to do <laughs> and bring those traditions into my Western art. Exactly. Um, and uh, talk a little bit about, we were looking at uh, one of your sculptures over here. Um, let's talk about this one a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, this is called Workhorse. Uh, and this was uh, a piece that I completed last year and I did some of the revisions here at the show. And believe it or not, this piece, which stands almost 36 inches tall, is a resin and it's 3D printed, had to be produced out of the country. And then I uh, have to hand finish it. So it starts out as grays and you have to come in and add these delicate layers of gears and I'm airbrushing and I'm adding texture. So each one is hand finished. So there would never be one that's exactly the same. Right, okay. Yep. And about how many hours do you invest in a piece like that? To to finish it? Uh, probably 30 to 40 hours just to hand finish one. The original probably had more like 60 or 70 hours. Okay. And it was quite a bit smaller. It was only nine inches. <coughs> and all of these pieces here were actually watch gears. Okay. This top piece along the main, that was a bicycle chain. And these are old airbrush nozzles. So I used a lot of things that I found in the studio. Uh, and then I just combined that with hand sculpting to create this steampunk horse if you will and the idea that all these gears have to work together to create work much like people exactly so people are cogs and gears and together we can accomplish things okay and then you were telling us a few minutes ago about your work with the thomas kincaid studios mm -hmm. correct yeah Tell i've been work working for them uh, with them for two years and i'm the exclusive artist for the mandalorian collection which is a uh, licensed fine art series through thomas kincaid studios and currently I'm the only artist that is actually able to promote and sign their work individually. And that allows me to be able to go and do signings at Disney resorts and be able to sign and remark prints. So I got special permission from them to have these pieces here at the expo. So the first time they're being offered in person here at the Arizona Fine Art Expo. And again, I'm able to sign the prints and people can either order them or I have some cash and carry prints available in the under $100 range up to the over $1,000 fine art framed Giclée prints. Okay. And I was going to ask you what you do in your free time, but I don't think you have any. It sounds like you're a busy man. Yeah, I, you know, I, I tell people I might not be good, but at least I'm productive. <laughs> I think you're both. Uh, so once again, we're at the uh, opening of the Arizona Fine Art Expo. Tickets are available on uh, the website, ArizonaFineArtExpo.com. There's also a link in our bio. Uh, stop by, meet artists like Monty, and just uh, browse, have some good conversations, and see some beautiful art.